Alright boys, what is going on? And welcome back to another series here on the channel. Today is kind of a special episode, okay? It's like a pilot. Right, not not pilot like plane, but pilot like testing something. So while I was at the gym today, I conceived a brand new idea that's not brand new, it's actually pretty old, but uh yeah. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into these cars, build them up to a certain class, and hold like an almost leaderboard to see what the best car in Forza is for doing everything and i mean everything we're gonna drag race we're gonna circuit race and we are going to drift so if you guys like that idea leave a comment below leave suggestions for cars and builds and uh, like the video so i know that you like the idea or i mean we might not make this series a thing so it's up to you boys anyways why did i back out today we're building 2006 rs4 now the rs4 it's a pretty cool car okay the rs4 S4, you know, these boys are pretty dope. I think this is going to be a very good baseline car. Now, it is all-wheel drive, which I didn't think about that drifting. Let's build this guy up, keep an all-wheel drive stock motor, as you can see here. And let's go send it. Now, logically, we should go with aero on these cars, but, uh, you know, I'm not a circuit racer, so I, I mean, I need all the help I can get. But I think we're going to keep it stock aero unless there's, like, a cool body mod. So if there's like a cool body kit or something, we'd throw that on, but nothing to assist us aerodynamically. Obviously, you cannot adjust the grip and whatnot with an aftermarket bumper, as long as it's not the Forza bumper. So, so these guys right here, the Pro Race 1s, remove 43 pounds, but I was thinking some TEs would look hella fine. Like hella fine, those are 43 as well. Let's go with the T37s. All right, obviously we're gonna dump this Johnny on the ground. And uh, she's already got fully upgraded tire width. But for compound itself, I don't know. See, we don't want to go with race. Because then we can't drift well. But at the same time, like, we need drag and circuit. And I don't think we're going to be able to push enough power to drift on race successfully. So I think we're going to go with sport. That's going to be a good middle ground. Now here's another very interesting thing. We could go with drift suspension. Okay, then we might not have the best lap times. I don't know how drifting suspension affects circuit. I imagine if you dial down the angle, it wouldn't really emit, like affect it much. But like, if we go with race suspension, then, you know, I imagine like, like drag racing, these are going to be pretty similar, pretty comparable, right? I'm thinking, let's just go drift. I feel like that's going to be better. And no, we are not changing these upgrades after each event. They're staying the same, although we can change the tune. Dude, this one hurt a lot. 700 pounds and we shot up like 100 pi all right well now it's just power we've got a couple little points to go here to get to 800 to be at the top of s class so let's go turbo we need the flywheel let's throw that on flywheel affects revving if you don't know very important Re revving speed this affects how high it revs we want high revving as well so there are two big upgrades from there i'd say Okay, I was gonna say, bro, like restrictor plates, what are you doing? 43 horsepower with that very simple intercooler. Amazing, boys. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. 21 horsepower for the exhaust. We're done. S class, 800. So for drag racing, we're gonna lower the tire pressure. It is all wheel drive, so I don't wanna go too low there. We're gonna lower the gearing. I don't really know what's gonna happen with that, but uh, that looks great. We're gonna stiffen up the chassis just a little bit, any roll bars. I clicked the wrong button there, rip. We're going to lock the back diff all the way. Why do I, why, why do I keep doing that? It's really annoying. I don't know the exact power figure, but I'd say if we go for about an 80-20% rear to front ratio, my voice is doing weird things right now. Oh wow, that's weird. Okay, I'm... <clears throat> okay, so I know a lot of you are wondering how these cars are going to be judged, how they're going to be, you know, compared to each other in relevance. And I'm still kind of in the process of figuring that out. There's a lot of kinks to work out with this system. But tomorrow, I'm going to try and throw something together, meaning if I edit tonight, you won't be able to see how it works. I know, I'm very unprepared. Just don't worry about it. We're here on the drag strip. Best of three runs. First gear is very long. Quarter mile as well. 10-3. So that first gear was all so bad. 
but 10-3 on the board to beat. Best of three runs. We can change the tune in between runs. All right, so first gear is much longer. That's all I adjusted. Tire pressure and everything seemed fine, like we didn't get any slip whatsoever. How much power? Okay. I did actually select it. There's a lot of lag going on there, so I didn't really... Okay, I, I literally have a brand new Xbox, so if there's an issue with it, I'm going to be very triggered. Oh boy. We're going to full send off the launch. Ten three on the board to beat. 100% beating it, dude. Ten flat. Ten flat, baby. I feel good about that one. You know, the, the car doesn't look so hot right now. It's got no arrow. And IRL, dude, these things like Stance Daddy with lips and stuff, like, they look hella fine. But Forza, this thing's raised as well. Do take that into account. It's raised, so that's probably not helping the look. So I don't know how good 10 flat is, you know, because this is the first episode. But we're going to go ahead and make it fully rear-wheel drive. We didn't get really any grip. Like, yes, there's a little bit of slip right off the launch. But uh, I really don't think it's going to matter too much. So we're going to go ahead, fully rear-wheel drive, convert it. All right. That felt really good, dude. The uh, second to third there. Nine, 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 three. So next up, we're going to go ahead and do the circuit race. So we're going to go ahead and use this test track here for the series. I know some of you may be triggered. But that's what we use back in Forza 6. Once again, I did this back in Forza 6 with, like, our class cars or something. And I sucked at driving, so it's going to be very interesting to see how my times have improved. Uh, I could probably go back. I remember in the description I had, like, the leaderboards. So we could probably go and look at that. But anyways, we're going to throw on a basic, basic circuit tune. We're not going to mess with the gearing too much because drag racing, we kind of figured out that's a pretty good sweet spot. Once again, we still are on drift suspension. I think the main thing to see here is that I took the angle down from 60 to 50, so we basically removed the entire point of having drift suspension, which, I mean, it's fine. Like, I really don't think it matters. We're also going to reduce braking pressure to, let's go like 85. So it will be best of three laps with the running start. Do keep in mind there's like a jump here, and there's a lot of like RNG factors, if you want to call them that, but... Uh, Actually, these are slower cars, so you don't get that much air. I remember, like, back in the day using, like, the super... What a line. Oh, that is actually a lot better than I thought. By the way, it's a lot faster if you take the outside line here. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be complaining about my circuit racing skills. But guys, I want to get better at it, and this is a perfect way to do so. So, just keep in mind, like, yes, I will get better over the course of this series... But, like, my driving's gonna be bad anyways. I'm not, like, I don't know, JSR something or another. Chill. First lap, we laid down a solid 104. Now, believe it or not... Oh, that's the RNG little bit there. Now, that Forza 6 series I was talking about, which is the Forza 6 playlist, you can go click on that. There's only, like, five videos. <laughs> no, there's more than that. But you can go watch those. If you're interested in what I'm talking about. But I remember like 104. I think it was the Alfa Romeo 4 seat. Had like a 4 odor swap. I remember making that video. And I think I got a 104. Maybe it was a different car. But I was trying so hard to beat 1 minute. Okay 1 minute lap time. That's what we're running in a car here with 100 less PI. We just ran a 102. 101. 101. 9. Alright. I gonna go back because I wasn't paying attention that's another thing rewind so if I like mess up terribly I mean technically it's being pulled out of the lap but like it's not affecting your count so because I'm not that great that's why we have rewind clean laps don't matter at all dude this is gonna be a good one gotta slow down for this chicane not the best line but we're still losing time Bad line. And crossing the line. 101 to beat. We pulled a 101-6 best lap, which was that last one. Now, originally we were shooting for about a minute, but then I messed up like halfway through the lap. Had a really bad corner. 
And, uh, I mean, I do have rewind, yes, but I don't want to depend on that too much or I'm never going to learn, right? So, it's give and take here. But there we go, 101.65 for the best lap in the Audi RS4. All right, so here we is for the final test of the video, drifting. Now, what I've learned from the other tests is that this guy doesn't have all that much power, so we're going to get lower tire pressure in the front for some bite, and then high tire pressure in the back for some slurp. S slurp? Skid? Same thing. So as you can see, it is fully rear-wheel drive converted. Converted. That's a new one. So it's making it fair for other rear-wheel drive only cars so we don't have all-wheel drive drifting giving us extra points. Now a quick look at the stats. I don't think I did that before. 700 horsepower in a 2800 pound car. You'd think that would be fast but it doesn't feel fast for some reason bro. I don't know. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be wondering how this series is judged, how the cars are going to be compared. And look, I don't know, because I'm not a points drifter, right? We're going to try and get as many points as possible, yes. But it's more on, like, how the car feels. Wow, it's grippy. Still, bro? Are you serious? Why is it so grippy? I don't know. I try to make it as less grip as possible. Okay, so drifting is one of those things where, you know, if I sit here and do it for eight hours yeah I could get some pretty high times but look I have eight minutes to have as much fun as possible so if the car is good it's getting a good score okay it's like I don't know maybe we could go I don't know how the point system is so I don't want to say anything but let's say five points okay it could be a one a two a three a four or five five being very best one being very worst something that's also very important to this series is getting all of the three events to be equal for example, we don't want drag racing to be 65% of the points, circuit racing to be 10, and then, you know, drifting to be the rest. We want everything to be 33%, which sounds pretty simple, but actually calculating that down to a decent... That's, that's pretty hard, man. Okay, boys, that rounds up the drifting. 156.9 for the score. You know, if that becomes relevant for future tests, like, like that's great, man. That's great. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the series. If you guys like what you see, let me down in the comment section. This guy, 700 horsepower RS4. If you have any builds you maybe want to see, like rx7 because i was using that earlier rx7 throw it out there man let me know down in the comment section i'd love to see your suggestions peace out and have a beautiful day i don't know the scoring system but at the end of the episode i would go over the scoring system i have still have to figure that out i'll leave it in a pinned comment what score it got there we go